Welcome back, Blaine. So, Blaine, what were some of the keys to the victory for the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Well, Kyle, I have my top five plays for or five reasons why the Patriots won the Super Bowl. First of all, number five, that's going to be Gronk and comp uh, company. And by Gronk and company, I mean by Rob Gronkowski and the other receivers. So far in the game, Gronkowski was targeted 10 times, six receptions, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Especially that uh, the touchdown came uh, close to the end of the second half where Seattle put a linebacker on Gronk, and Gronk just beat the linebacker. Uh, you wonder why that would happen? We don't know either. Uh, Julian Edelman, he had nine receptions, 109 yards, and a touchdown. Danny Amendola, five receptions, 48 yards, and a touchdown. Brandon LaFell, he had four receptions, 29 yards, and a touchdown. And Shane Vereen, the back out of the backfield. But Garrett Blunt wasn't in the game much, but Shane Vereen, he was targeted 12 times, 11 receptions for 64 yards. He had no touchdowns, but it was really a big moment in the game for the Patriots as they just dink and dunk every, all throughout the game. Number four would be the special teams. And by special teams, the Patriots punter, four punts for 196 yards. His longest was 64, and he averaged 49. And you know what? He only gave up two returns, and they were for six yards. And one return was the six yards. So that was pretty awesome by the Patriots punter, Ryan Allen. And then uh, Steven Gokowski on his kickoffs. Seattle didn't even have a single kickoff all game getting a touchback on all the kickoffs he, he did and which proved to be big for the Patriots as Seattle could not get the ball past the 20 yard line uh, for each where they started the ball after the Patriots score. Number three, Brady versus LOB, the Legion of Boom. Tom Brady, 50 attempts, 50 pass attempts. Now that is a lot, but that is a lot. It is a lot. But he completed 37 of them, and even though they were dink and dumps, it, came, it seemed to be key for this team because he passed for 328 yards. He had four touchdowns. Yes, he had the two interceptions, but he had a QBR of 81.1 and uh, overall rating of 101.1. Now, Brady, uh, he was 7 for 7 on the final drive uh, for 55 yards. And overall, in the fourth quarter on the two scoring drives, he was 12 for 14 for 121 yards and two touchdowns. Another big key to the game because you thought that the Legion of Boom, they're, they're all talk, but they didn't show up in the fourth quarter. You got to, I mean, if you're going to be all talk, you're going to shut down the best player. You didn't do, they didn't do their job, so that's reason number three. Reason, reason number two, excuse me, is going to be the Patriots defense, and they stepped up. Yes, they did. Uh, yes, they did give up over 100 yards rushing, but they held Russell Wilson in check, 12 for 21. You don't see him passing a lot, but nine of them were incompletions. He had, Russell Wilson had 247 uh, yards overall, two touchdowns, one interception. But the defense got to him. They brought the pressure. They sacked him three times. They didn't allow him to run at all, and that's something you usually see Russell Wilson do. He only had three rushes for 39 yards. And uh, like I said, and, and on the other side was Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis, he only let uh, Doug Baldwin have one catch. So one catch. Uh, for, and that was a touchdown, and the refs got in the way. That's big. And then the biggest play of them all, like we said, the play. The, uh, Seattle threw the ball in the goal line one yard. You have Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Why don't you hand the ball off to him? Well, we don't know. Pete Carroll was confident, and an interception was thrown, and that ended the game. All right. I, like, I didn't have a problem with the play. I thought it was a good play, bad read by Russell Wilson. The, the play was there and it had worked earlier in the game. We've seen Seattle do it, but the problem was Russell Wilson made the wrong read, didn't identify there was three corners, and he could have ran. But I want to go to a play earlier in the game, the Gronk play. Why would you have a linebacker on Gronk when you have two of the best safeties, supposedly? You know, that's what I'm trying to wonder out, too. You're going to put a linebacker. He beat the linebacker by five yards, and Brady just threw it up, and we're like, what is going on? Why is Gronk that open? I mean, now let's go to the, Patri the Patriots. I mean, Tom Brady went after Richard Sherman, and he did a good job at it. Yeah, he did. And you know what? Richard Sherman, uh, he wasn't able to do anything. He was, prob he was on half an arm, too. But, I mean, he talked a lot of trash, and he couldn't come up with a big play. But he did give respect to Brady after the game. Now, how big was it, the injury that happened to Jeremy Lane? That was huge. Tom Brady just attacked uh, 
Daryl uh, Simon throughout the game, and that seemed to be huge. He went right to him right away on the first touchdown drive to Brandon LaFell, and Simon could not make up for anything as Brady just attacked him all game. Now, Blaine, you know we're breaking up this new segment, right? The trivia segment? Yes. Well, you know who my first victim is going to be? Who? You, my friend. Oh. All right, okay. so you watch the Super Bowl with me. Yeah. You also watch the intros with me. Tomorrow is National Signing Day for college. We're going to play Where Did Some of My Favorite Players Go to College? Okay. We're going to do the Super Bowl edition. Where did Russell Wilson start his college career? NC State. Correct. Question number two. Where did Bruce Irvin go to college? Bruce Irvin. Uh, who? I'm going to take a guess here. I'm going to say Miami. West Virginia. Okay. Second question, or third question, actually. Where did LeGarrette Blunt go? Okay. Oh, uh, hello, Chip Kelly, Oregon. I like you. I had to give you an easy one. All right, now we're going to go to a harder one. Nate Solder. Nate Solder. Oh, uh, I, I want to say Vanderbilt. Colors are right. Oh, no, Colorado. Yeah, there you go. But the second try doesn't matter. Uh. All right, now we're going to go to one of your favorite players. I know as an ex-Eagle. Patrick Chung. <laughs> oh, Patrick Chung. Uh, where did he go to college? Uh, I want to say USC, but it wasn't USC. Um, I'm going to take a shot and say Patrick Chung went to ooh, a good secondary, uh, Miami. Time's up. He went to Oregon. You answered the Oregon. question earlier. Jeez. All right. We have to take one more break, but when we come back, the sideline crew and the case of the week crew, we join up to talk about did the Hall of Fame get it right? <laughs> 